Hi, I'm David Ezekiel, Transitional Pastor for the First Federated Church of Peoria. Welcome to our Midweek Moment. Most people have had the experience of being focused on something that seemed incredibly important, such as deciding what to buy or choosing what color to paint a wall. Then suddenly having that dilemma swept away by learning that someone they love is seriously ill. This instantaneous shift in priorities applies to nearly every situation in life, even the current crisis that's overwhelming you right now, that feels so critically important to resolve now. Today's crisis is guaranteed to shift and change. We can count on it. Without any help from us, situations lose their big deal status and are shoved aside by the next crisis. In part, this is evidence that we live in a constantly changing universe. But it's also true because we live in a leadership culture that seems addicted to crisis. Too many leaders want to know about every little crisis, yet they never focus long enough on any one issue in order to resolve it. So why should we be the ones making it into a big deal right now if tomorrow it will be demoted or forgotten? So maybe you might want to adopt this attitude of, this is not the end of the world for most things. Now such an attitude might just serve you well in life and in work. Now allow me to clarify by stating that it doesn't mean being numb to what's happening, its absolute importance, or that which truly demands our attention and should be addressed. And neither does It means throwing up your hands or shrugging your shoulders or walking away and saying, oh, well, that's just the way it is. Let me categorically state that we absolutely need to pay attention to crisis and issues. And we need to be fully engaged with them for the long term so that productive results ensue. Keep the pressure on. But don't so overinflate the issue in a way that obscures clear seeing, clear thinking, and right action. We don't need to fill the crisis with urgency, which only promotes confusion and aggression and feelings of helplessness. If you want to make lasting change to important things, stay engaged, keep the pressure on, be calm, cool, and collected about it. And with that recognition, you can do very, very good work. It's like the Buddhist teacher Shoghyam Trungpa said, if you maintain a sense of humor and a distrust of the rules laid down around you, there will be success. Here's wishing you every real success in dealing with that which is important to you. I'm David Ezekiel. Thanks for sharing this midweek moment with me.